service and morning prayer begins on page 19 of Enriching Our Worship. God is spirit, and those who worship must worship in spirit and in truth. Let us confess our sins to God. God, let our mouth proclaim your praise and your glory all the day long. Praise to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. God is the rock of our salvation. O oh, come, let us worship. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before God's presence with thanksgiving and raise to the Lord a shout with songs. For you are a great God, you are great above all gods. In your hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are yours also. The sea is yours, for you made it, and your hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and to kneel before the Lord our Maker. For you are our God, and we are the people of your pasture, and the sheep of your hand. Oh, that today we would hearken to your voice. God is the rock of our salvation. Oh, come, let us worship. The Psalms for this morning. Psalms 120, 121, 122, and 123. Praise God in the beauty of holiness. I call out in my anguish, and God answers me. Save me, Lord, from schemers from tongues that speak lies. What will God pay you, devious tongues, arrows sharp for battle, and white hot coals? Why must I wander in Meshech? Why stay among the tents of Kedar? Living so long with the violent, I call for peace. They speak of war. If I look to the mountains, will they come to my aid? My help is the Lord who made earth and the heavens. May God ever wakeful keep you from stumbling. The guardian of Israel neither rests nor sleeps. God shields you, a protector by your side. The sun shall not harm you by day nor the moon at night. God shelters you from evil, securing your life. God watches over you near and far, now and always. joy I heard them say, let us go to the Lord's house. And now, Jerusalem, we stand inside your gates. Jerusalem, the city so built that city and temple are one. To you the tribes go up, every tribe of the Lord. It is the law of Israel to honor God's name. The seats of law are here, the thrones of David's line. Pray peace for Jerusalem, happiness for your homes. 
safety inside your walls, peace in your great houses. For love of family and friends, I say, peace be with you. For love of the Lord's own house, I pray for your good. I gaze at the heavens, searching for you, my God. A slave watches his master's hand, a servant girl the hand of her mistress. So our eyes rest on you, Lord, awaiting your kindness. Have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We have swallowed enough scorn, stomach enough sneers, the scoffing of the complacent, the mockery of the proud. Praise to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Worship God in the beauty of holiness. A reading from the book of Numbers, chapter 22, verses 21 through 38. So Balaam got up in the morning, saddled his donkey, and went with the officials of Moab. God's anger was kindled because he was going, and the angel of the Lord took his stand in the road as his adversary. Now he was riding on the donkey, and his two servants were with him. The donkey saw the angel of the Lord standing in the road with a drawn sword in his hand, so the donkey turned off the road and went into the field. And Balaam struck the donkey to turn it back onto the road. Then the angel of the Lord stood in a narrow path between the vineyards with a wall on either side. When the donkey saw the angel of the Lord, it scraped against the wall and scraped Balaam's foot against the wall, so he struck it again. Then the angel of the Lord went ahead and stood in a narrow place where there was no way to turn either to the right or to the left. When the donkey saw the angel of the Lord, it lay down under Balaam, and Balaam's anger was kindled, and he struck the donkey with his staff. Then the Lord opened the mouth of the donkey, and it said to Balaam, What have I done to you that you have struck me three times? Balaam said to the donkey, Because you have made a fool of me, I wish I had a sword in my hand, I would kill you right now. But the donkey said to Balaam, Am I not your donkey, which you have ridden all your life to this day? Have I been in the habit of treating you in this way? And he said, No. Then the Lord opened the eyes of Balaam, and he saw the angel of the Lord standing in the road with his drawn sword in his hand, and he bowed down, falling on his face. The angel of the Lord said to him, Why have you struck your donkey these three times? I have come out as an adversary, because your way is perverse before me. The donkey saw me and turned away from these three times. If it had not turned away from me, surely I would by now have killed you and let it live. Then Balaam said to the angel of the Lord, I have sinned, for I did not know that you were standing in the road to oppose me. Now therefore, if it is displeasing to you, I will return home. The angel of the Lord said to Balaam, Go with the men, but speak only what I tell you to speak. So Balaam went on with the officials of Balak. When Balak heard that Balaam had come, he went out to meet him at Irmoab on the boundary formed by the Arnon, at the farthest point of the boundary. Balak said to Balaam, Did I not send to summon you? Why did you not come to me? Am I not able to honor you? Balaam said to Balak, I have come to you now, but, but do I have power to say just anything? The word God puts in my mouth, that is what I must say. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Let us pray together, Canticle L, beginning on page 36 of Enriching Our Worship. Though in the form of God, Christ Jesus did not cling to equality with God, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to death even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and given him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus,
Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Praise to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. When he entered the temple, the chief priests and the elders of the people came to him as he was teaching and said, By what authority are you doing these things, and who gave you this authority? Jesus said to them, I will also ask you one question. If you tell me the answer, then I will also tell you by what authority I do these things. Did the baptism of John come from heaven, or was it of human origin? And they argued with one another, If we say from heaven, he will say to us, why then did you not believe him? But if we say of human origin, we are afraid of the crowd, for all regard John as a prophet. So they answered Jesus, We do not know. And he said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. What do you think? A man had two sons. He went to the first and said, Son, go and work in the vineyard today. He answered, I will not. But later he changed his mind and went. The father went to the second and said the same, and he answered, I go, sir. But he did not go. Which of the two did the will of his father? They said, the first. Jesus said to them, truly, I tell you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes are going into the kingdom of God ahead of you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him. But the tax collectors and the prostitutes believed him, and even after you saw it, you did not change your minds and believe him. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Let us pray together, Canticle M, on page 37 of Enriching Our Worship. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By divine mercy, we have a new birth into a living hope. Through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, we have an inheritance that is imperishable in heaven. The ransom that was paid to free us was not paid in silver or gold, but in the precious blood of Christ, the Lamb without spot or stain. God raised Jesus from the dead and gave him glory so that we might have faith and hope in God. Praise to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, he is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come, and he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Hear our cry, O God, and listen to our prayer. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Help us, O God, our Savior. Deliver us and forgive us our sins. Look upon your congregation. Give to your people the blessing of peace. Declare your glory among the nations and your wonders among all peoples. Do not let the oppressed be shamed and turned away. 
Never forget the lives of your poor. Continue your loving kindness to those who know you and your favor to those who are true of heart. Satisfy us by your loving kindness in the morning. So shall we rejoice and be glad all the days of our life. God, the author of peace and lover of comfort, to know you is eternal life, and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by any adversity, and in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth, and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your Spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Welcome to our service of morning prayer here at All Saints. We are so grateful that you have decided to join us today. I look out on the empty church, and I am reminded that this is just a building. It is not the church. And the church is not empty. For the church is the body of Christ. And it is filled with Christians throughout the world and throughout all time, worshiping together in praise of God, the holy and undivided Trinity. So even the building may be empty. The church has many thousands and millions and countless throngs of people together worshiping God. Let us pray for the church and for the world. O oh God, we pray for your holy church, for all who minister in her. We pray for all bishops, priests, deacons, pastors, all parsons, lay leaders who lead services during this time. We pray for all the nations of the world and for all those in authority. May they be guided to just and moral decisions through your love and your wisdom. We pray for the poor, the sick, the homeless, the hungry, the needy. We pray for those in prison. We pray for all who are suffering from COVID-19 and all who are concerned about it. We pray for Janie, Mana, Fred, Rose, Shepherd, Aster, Johnny, Roger, and John. Dear God, we pray for the souls of all the departed. We all pray for all those who have passed away from COVID-19. We pray for George, Brianna, Ahmad, Rashard, Elijah. We pray for any and all who have been killed, murdered, executed because of racial bias, hatred, indifference. We pray for Dorothy, Tom, Bernadette, John, Leo, Charles, Carolyn, Charlie, Johnny, Richard, Robert, Daniel, Vicki. And we pray for all victims of violence anywhere in the world.
Through God, we pray for the concerns of this community, for all those we hold dear in our heart. We pray for this community here at All Saints. We pray for medical workers, government workers, frontline workers, emergency workers, grocery store workers, truck drivers, any and all who are working to keep us healthy, safe, and fed. We pray for Polly, Shirley, Bill, Brad, John, Richard, and the Harris family. We pray for Jose, Josie, Carol, Yvonne, Gretchen, Tilo, Lilia, Anton, Greg, Mark, Ricky, Mona, Cheryl, Helen, Jenya, Dog, Prim, Doug, London, Donald, Eddie, Carol, Juan, Ian, Lola Carmelita, Inang Rose, Abigail, Len, Malia, Sierra, Isaiah, Josh, Gregory, Lola, B, Uncle Timothy, Azrael, Beth, K, Jerome, Mormons, Roger and his wife, Baby Isla, Mackenzie, Dreamers, Fran, Mina, Steph, Aragunda Marks, Jim and his family, the Altamuras, the Avilas, the Alos, the Zendejas, the Lonsings, the Riveras, the Tabascos, the Colangelos, the Grimshaws, the Studers, the Luciones, Ace, Ty, Jean, Tony, Teresa, Luis, S.L. and his family, Jean, John, Daniel, William, Cricket, Olga, Constantine, Dimitri, Matthew, Otis, Thomas Patrick, Lou, Phyllis, Tom, Kevin, Tara, Louis, Cardi, Lou, Osun, Estianus, Howard, Sophia, Ricky, Annika, Elizabeth, Dr. Lenz, Nicole, Jesus, Penny, Claire, Tricia, Jim, Sana, David. We pray for all those who have family or friends in parts of the world where the coronavirus is growing in numbers. We pray for those suffering from addiction, that they may maintain their sobriety in these anxious times. We pray for any and all who are estranged from their family or loved ones. We pray for those who have become unemployed or are facing financial insecurity. And we pray that through the grace of Jesus Christ, we may stick together, join together in kindness and gratitude and form a time of rebirth and recovery. Dear God, we give you thanks for all the blessings of this life, for each and everything you do for us every single day. We give thanks for our community here at All Saints, for our interim rector, Beth, our music director, Bill, our office administrator, Augustine, our lay leadership, we give thanks to you for our Saturday morning food program. We pray to you that for those who are fed by it. And we pray, giving thanks for its volunteers, that this ministry may begin again soon. We give thanks for the San Francisco Healthcare Home. We pray for those who dwell there. We give thanks for the medical staff and personnel who work there. We thank you for the volunteers who serve in this ministry and pray that it also may begin again soon. We give thanks for the 100th birthday of Willard Harris and the baptism of Per Rebbe, for Marina, for Henry, for the birth of Vera and her mother Sylvie, the birth of Felix and his parents Katina and Rob, the birth of Don Jay and her parents Chester and Ryan A, the birth of Liam and his mother Sana, the birth of Helen and her parents Adrian and Derek. Dear God, we give you thanks for this wonderful, marvelous gift of creation. May we become faithful stewards of this great gift. For whom and for what else shall we pray? Let's join together all our prayers in the general thanksgiving found on page 101 of the Book of Common Prayer. 
Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for the immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to him with you in the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, and grant us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat>